Oh my God. Ugh. It took me a while, but now I've come around to take out the trash. Listen, man. See, YouTube is about those who can and those who don't. You are one of the ones that can. You have the ability to do something very brilliant with your mind. But instead, you choose to bash someone who's trying. Now, to be a real man, you, you must engage in debate. In other words, you know, I don't agree with you, Father Judgment. Let's talk about this. If you watch any of my videos, I engage people with debate or challenge. Now, I'm not going to challenge you. Why should I challenge you? I get nothing out of it by challenging you. All I have to do is this. Say a few words, do a few gestures, and you may just quit on your own. But I don't want you to quit. I want you to keep on speaking your mind. But when someone else speaks their mind, instead of bashing them in a manner to where it's just like, like you're ranting because his show may be better than yours, looks like you're just ranting because he's touched you and then he don't touch you no more. You might just be ranting because you like him so much and his show so much. You want to have a show like his. You can't be Father Judgment. You can't compete with Father Judgment. I'm sorry. Father Judgment looks at things differently. You may perceive him to be this or that, but obviously you really don't know Father Judgment. If you knew Father Judgment, you would know one thing that you can't judge him. You don't have the capability or the mental structure to compete in the same arena with this man. This man is not only seasoned in the world, but in life itself. And you seem to be a young man. To me, you look like you're under 30 or damn close to 32. And that you don't have enough knowledge to compete with this man. His name is Father Judgment for a reason. Because everything is based on his judgment. Why? Why can he judge and you can't? I didn't say he is the ultimate judge. I'm just saying, from what I've seen of your videos and his videos, you can't play baseball if you don't have the right players on your team. And apparently, you're running a one-man show. Why the long pause? Why not? Think about it. YouTube is a solo, a solo, a solo entity. It's my face telling my stories. You see these other people with complete comedy teams and this guy and this newscast. The real people watch the one-on-one -on -one conversation. Just like you had bashing someone who I can actually listen to. Of course. Before I made this video, I had to check out your library. There wasn't much to view, so I had to see what I had to see and saw what I saw, and it wasn't much to see. But in seeing what I saw, I almost dropped my jaw because I can't see you doing what you do on this YouTube. I can't see you being no more than a computer programmer with brilliant ideas. Change the world like that. Because when you rant and bash somebody who may actually help you in the long run, engage in debate first before you step up to the plate. Because you might not even get a hit. You might not just you might just stand there whiffling at the ball. Whew, whew, whew. Three strikes, baby. Three strikes. So I'm giving you the opportunity reply to this and of course you'll say something witty far-fetched you might even drop the end bomb if you got any stones in the sack but it doesn't matter what you say about this video this video shows that someone who is trying is bashing someone who's being completely positive on several different wavelengths in other words I can relate to him on four out of five subjects and he can relate to me uh, eight out of ten I can't relate to you on much because you bash someone 
who I can relate to. But don't, un don't get me wrong and don't misunderstand what I'm about to say. I don't agree with everything about everybody, but I agree with most of everything that a person will think. But that small percentage, I won't agree with. Just like you. If I would have found much stuff I can agree with you on, I would agree with you on it. But on this case, in this situation, I think you're just wrong. You're flat out wrong. Don't watch one, two, or three videos and judge somebody when you only got 20 videos in your own stack. Watch the body of work before you make a judgment call. And that's what I did. You're not bad, but you're not that good either. And in saying that, I suggest you understand one thing about this YouTube, young man. There are so many people that can do, and there's so many people trying to stop us from doing it. Neither one of us who are doing it need to try to stop someone else from doing it. But in saying what I just said, I am a hypocrite because a couple of times I had to sit there and say something to people and a couple of times people quit. Now, one person didn't completely give up and he forgave me. But the other person, instead of saying, okay, this person is engaging me in debate, that person gave up. Which kind of person are you going to be? You're going to bash somebody who's on the same team while you're trying to get up to bat? Are you going to play against this person and lose? That's a decision ultimately, ultimately, ultimately made by you. You either want to be on the winning team or the losing team. Because right now, the score is about 10 to nothing. And you haven't even got to bat yet. So please, do me one favor. Instead of bashing anybody worth listening to, you go after those nameless, faceless people. You go after those who call you names at the bottom of your videos. Don't go after someone trying. Tell him that you agree to disagree with him. But to bash somebody without being able to stand next to the shadow that's cast by the grain of sand that's next to his shadow is very pitiful on your part. You may have some witty words to say. You may come back at me harder than anyone else ever have. But I'm the real AIX. People have tried. People have mounted strategies. People have gave up and quit. Can you say something positive? One thing positive about Father Judgment? Or anybody willing to speak their piece? Or are you just going to look for people that you disagree with and think they're not strong enough to stand up to you? What kind of crusade am I on? What kind of mission am I on? Well, my mission is this to get all those who can to work on the same page. Because if you can't work on the same page, baby, then you must be in the wrong book. And if you're in the wrong book, then why am I even looking at your face right now on this picture, on this page? I don't think I'm in the wrong book. So if I'm not in the wrong book, then you must be. You need not speak on pages in which you cannot read. For the knowledge is not yours alone, not yours to discredit. The knowledge is yours to expand on. Well, you were wrong in this point, but I'm going to show you why you were wrong because I believe it was this way. And then somebody will see that and do exactly what I'm doing right now. Correcting an error, a mistake. Is it a mistake that I'm talking to you? Or a mistake that it took me this long to correct you after watching five of your videos? It took five videos, baby. Because you're not that bad. But didn't I also say in this video, you're not that good. Oh, and that's bad. And you've been tubed.